me, a border man injured to the city with the number two, and Theo. Now, by the way, please, ladies and gentlemen, go look at that one point um, episode of the viewpoints because I have been hanging on to that. I have been hanging on to that video on my on my iPad for an extra few hours because it was just so much on point. I did not want to delete it. Legitimately, that video was so on point. I did not want to delete it, but I just went ahead and deleted it so I can make room for this video. So I don't know how much time that will give me, but I think that will give me another. 15 minutes, but I probably won't use that entire 15 minutes. I'll probably use just, you know, um, which is not an entire 15 minutes, probably hopefully 10 minutes. But, um, most definitely, I'm still, um, I'm going to package up all these, the Viewpoints episodes that I've been making over the past week, uh, and I'm really going to package them up, send links off, because y'all need to look, y'all need to, y'all need to look, y'all need to listen to these videos and see exactly what I'm saying, because I'm saying, yeah, I can get famous off these, these these videos, and my viewpoints are very articulate, at least if you ask me, but it's really the fact, man, no offense to Lil Yachty, but I don't want it to end up being where my brand is more big, is more famous, more bigger than my music, I really want both of them to be the same, you know, and if I had to choose between a my music, if I had to choose between one of, one of them being the most famous, because again, again, I'm not all about the money, so if I had to choose one of them to be more famous, my brand, or my music, I think I'm going to choose my brand to be more famous than my music, but I don't know fully, right, but that's just, I don't know fully, but that's just what my opinion is right now, I think if I had to choose between my brand be more famous, famous than my music, I think I'll choose my, 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 my brand, but um, most definitely, um, I'm going to package these up and send them out to y'all, because I'm, I just need a lot of articulate takes, and you don't have to be on a major network to do this. You know, you don't. I mean, you don't have to be on a major network to get paid to do this. You can do this right, here, like right here in your bedroom, like I'm doing, and talk about whatever you want to talk about, legitimately. So I'm gonna get back to the topic of yeah, uh, topic of again. This is the same date, uh, 7 15, 2017, 2 42 a.m. So, yes, I'm up all night doing this. So, thank me later. Obviously, I got those two from Drake's Thank Me Later album and his song Up All Night. So, uh, so by the way, just, just to let y'all know that the moral, the two morals of my points when I was talking about sports and tribute songs is that I need to start making more tribute songs for my brothers as well, for the guys, for my boys, for the boys. I need to start making more tribute songs for them because, again, I, I'm a big fans of them and I scout a good majority of them as well. So I need to show them just as much of, and just as much of love and appreciation as I show the girls. Just as much love and appreciation I show the women. I need to show them just as much, uh, just much of a love, uh, just just as much love and appreciation as I, as I show the the females. Y'all understand my point. Uh, so I will. Uh, Shay Patterson, I got a tribute song to you will be released. Johnny Manziel, I probably I don't know if I'll make a tribute song to you or I'll just shout you out in a song, but just know I will I will do more tr more tribute songs for my brothers coming soon. Y'all deserve it. I love y'all just just as well as more tribute songs for the ladies. I love y'all. Y'all know what's up. It's me, your borderman, NJ to the city. You know what's up. I love y'all. Correct y'all. I die for you. So let's go ahead and let's get back into the sport topics. As I was saying. Stop mortgaging your future on quarterbacks that can only get you to a decent regular season. I'm not even joking. Sam Bradford, you're a good example of this. You're a guy that's been in the league since 2009 or 2008, one of those years, and you ain't, man, you ain't, you don't even have, oh my, oh my goodness. And I had to do that because it just makes me, it just makes me think like, has he even been in a playoff game? He been in a, he, 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 he what? And so that's why I'm like, oh my gosh, because I'm like, yeah, you know, I didn't usually smack myself in the head. I was just like, like this, you know, because I'm, I'm just like, are you kidding me? Sam Bradford, you've been in the league for how many years? Since like 2009 or 2008, and you don't have a, you don't have no play. If I'm, if I'm correct, you have no playoff experience. I hate to say, at least Andy Dalton went to the playoffs, even though he lost like you know four straight games. At least he went to the playoffs. So that's my point. Stop mortgaging your future on these guys that are only gonna get you to the right get you good regular season results. Or even decent. You y'all need to, again, I think some of y'all, some of these teams are proving that they don't care about the postseason. They don't care about the 
about the about yeah about Super Bowls. They don't care. Either that or you're just either you don't care about it or you're just so so dedicated to this guy that you or to this guy that it's like why break up the marriage now, you know? Even though he's not getting us where we need to be, it's like why break up the marriage now? Ben Roethlisberger, how many rings he got? Like one or two? And you're probably like, okay, what you gonna say about big, about big, big Ben now? I'm a fan of him, a little bit, but still, it's the same thing. You know, don't you wanna, don't you wanna be like a Tom Brady, Ben Roethlisberger? And when I say don't, don't, don't you wanna be like a Tom Brady? I'm like, don't you wanna be because you, because you, again, you, and I mean about that, I'm talking about the rings because you have, you have again pretty much the same talent as he does when it comes to throwing that football. You do, Matt Ryan does, Joe Flacco does. Y'all had the same talent as same talent, same talent with throwing that football as Tom Brady, but y'all don't have near nearly the nearly the rings that he has. And that's what I'm trying to say. Like, it's either I mean, it's either something y'all doing wrong or something your team doing wrong. It's like like it's like it's either on one individual person or it's a collective of people that just are not you know, bonded together as a cohesive unit and doing their jobs. Because I'm telling you, Ben Roethlisberger, as good as he is, as much as much as we talk about how good this and that quarterbacks are, again, we need we need to start weighing how many how many playoff wins do they have? Because I'm telling you, a lot of y'all, a lot of these analysts, as I see them on television, they I'm telling you, they don't talk. They really I'm saying these quarterbacks do not have that many playoff wins. Like it's like saying. You have Tom Brady's skill set, but you don't have his rings, and that's the problem. Why don't y'all have his rings? Why don't y'all? Why don't y'all have close? One, you, most of y'all have one or two, and that's it. This man got five, if I'm correct. He got five now, if I'm correct. Come on, you know, come on. And then I'm telling you, I see, I see it on Sports Center, I see it on NFL Live, I see it on NFL Network. That that's what these that's that's what these quarterbacks have. I see it. Y'all have like, y'all have good touchdown interception ratio. Y'all have good completion percentage. Y'all have like, how many playoff games? One, one, two, three. I don't know, but y'all don't have close to his. Y'all don't. Y'all don't have close to all the playoff games he's won. Y'all don't have close to. Um, y'all don't. Y'all don't have close to all the playoff games he has won. Y'all don't have close to his rings. You have a ring, one or two, but y'all don't have five. You don't have five. Y'all need to, I'm telling you, teams, every team needs to look at themselves and ask, why do we not have close to what Tom Brady has? Or like or like I say, y'all, when I say about close to what Tom Brady, like I say, y'all throwing, y'all throwing up the numbers when it comes to y'all throwing with the, the touchdown interception ratio, uh, completion percentage, winning percentage, y'all, y'all yeah, y'all, y'all got that, but y'all don't have, y'all, y'all don't have conference championships, you know, y'all don't have Super Bowl rings. Y'all don't, you, y'all, don't, y'all don't even have Super Bowl appearances. So that's what I'm trying to say. If you ask me, one of the top things if you ask me, stop settling for these quarterbacks that are only going to get you so far. And I mean so far as in the ones that can't finish, which is what a lot of y'all selling for is these quarterbacks that can't finish. And y'all need to stop doing that. Y'all are selling for these quarterbacks that can't finish. Again, Sam Bradford, why did they even offer you a deal like three, four years ago? Why did they even offer you that deal they offered you three, four years ago? I don't know how many years ago it was, but I think they had re-signed him and, and or they was trying to re-sign him. There was some something that they they was doing and that's why they shipped him over to um uh whatever team that was. Was that Phil Philadelphia? They, yeah, that was Philadelphia they shipped him over to. And no offense to Chip Kelly when he was coach of the Eagles, I don't even understand why he even got Sam Bradford, because Sam Bradford is not the type of quarterback, he's not He's not mobile, not saying he can't run, he can, but he's just not, he's not, he's not going to run unless he has to run, and other than that, he's strictly in the pocket, you probably, that's why he's lasted this long, again, quote me on this, so you mean to tell me you would rather, or like, I'm trying to figure out how to put this, put this together, but like I say, so you may tell me, Tom Brady, Pocket passing quarterback. Now, well, let's not even put Tom Brady in the mix. 
Aaron Rodgers. Pack up pocket pocket pass again. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay with Aaron Rodgers. I'm 100 percent okay. Aaron Rodgers, that's my guy as well. I'm okay with him. I'll play him. I'll, I'll you know, he's he's excused from this, if you ask me. He's excused from the conversation. Because he because he has one or two rings, but he will get more. I have very much confidence in Aaron Rodgers. He is elite. But I'm trying to tell you, simple as that, you know, one, most of y'all, if y'all, most of y'all have one or two rings, other than that, y'all don't have anything, y'all don't have, I mean, I'm, like, I'm, I'm trying to say, legitimately, how come, how is it that y'all, and again, Sam Bradford, I keep thinking about, you don't even have a playoff game under your belt, if I'm correct, and that is sad, I think, to be putting up good numbers, and you, to get, or putting up Tom Brady numbers, or close to Tom Brady numbers, and yet you don't even have you don't even, you don't even have no playoff experience. If I'm correct, you don't have any playoff experience. And Matthew Stafford, again, let me bring that up. I don't get it. Why in the world are you again? You, that's I'm saying all you GMs and owners, and y'all definitely can call me as crazy as you want to want. But I pretty much, if you dissect it the way I've dissected it, I have a lot of good point here. You're you're selling for guys that can't finish. You're selling for the regular season. You're like, okay, let's get a good or good or okay regular season, but let's not do anything in the playoffs. And then if we do, we're going to get knocked out in the first round or knocked out in the divisional round. We're not going to the conference championship. We're not going to the Super Bowl. That's the problem. Stop doing that to yourselves. Stop it. Le- le- legitimately. 11 minutes, so, um, so forth and so forth. Um... Hold up, I'm trying to cancel something on my computer right quick. Okay. So as I was saying before, because it is sad, I think, to be a Sam Bradford and Sam Bradford Vikings play right again. Didn't he play good for like, you know, for getting three, you know, two, three, not two. It was definitely like, you know, three, four, five weeks. One thing undefeated. And then it just went downhill from there. Now, I mean, downhill as in you put up good numbers, but you still weren't really winning as consistently as you should. That's what I'm saying. Because I understand the Minnesota Vikings, like, you know, we want to win right now. We don't want to, you know, sacrifice a good year or two. We want to win right now. So I understand that's why they traded for him from Philadelphia. But the problem is, how much do you want to win? You just want to win a regular season or you want to go to the playoffs and you want to win that too. And I'm telling you, a lot of these, a lot of these play, a lot of, again, a lot of, a lot of these guys, a lot of these GMs, I'm saying a lot of these GMs in there, and the head coaches and the owners, they're selling for these guys that are only going to get them the regular season. They're not going to get them any more than that. And either they do, they're going to be knocked out in the playoffs in the first or second round. And I'm telling you, that's the problem. I'm telling you, y'all need to, y'all need to reevaluate a lot of these college guys. Y'all need to reevaluate a lot of these college quarterbacks. Because I'm telling you, a lot of these guys that just came in now, Josh Dobbs, Chad Kelly, um, a few other people that I can't name, but I, and I can't name because I can't remember their names. But at the same time, like I say, you know, you need to take a second look at them and be like, you know what, maybe and Trayvon Boykin, yeah. Reinvest in Trayvon Boykin. Reinvest in what's that guy's name? Uh, Taj, Taj Boy, that's now out of the league. Come on, I think he's out of the league. I think he's playing for Canada right now. Colin Klein, who I think is as well playing for Canada. Jake Waters, which again, Jaguar signed him um, two years ago. He's not playing in Canada, I think. Uh, Cody Fajardo, again, I think another guy who's playing, you know, he is playing Canada right now. But you get my point. Matt Sims, and not not Matt Sims, what that guy's name? Matt Scott. Matt Scott who played for Arizona, but you, but he's now in Canada right now. Sorry for my stutter, but you get my point. Y'all need to reevaluate some of these guys for real. Uh, what's that guy's name? Um, that quarterback came out of Miami, went to the Jaguars. Then got traded to, oh my God, that was, oh my Lord, I'm about to, I'm about, oh my God. On another one, on, on another the viewpoints, I'm about to, I'm going to dissect how disgusted I, somewhat, or, or even, or either, either that or mad I am that Jack, that not Jack Kelly, what his name, Chip Kelly did, did, did what he did with Tim Tebow and that kid from um, the Miami, um, Stephen Morris. Chad, not Chad, Chip, I'm saying, you, you, you screwed yourself and you screwed Tim Tebow. That was just waste right there. That was waste. You cut Tebow and you then, and then you get the, 
Oh, that was just wrong. More talk of them coming soon. I mean, more of the viewers coming soon. God bless you.